Egg quality is a very interesting feature of a human egg. We do know that as women get older, the quality or efficiency of the egg, a term I much prefer, does go down with age. If we think about taking 10 eggs from a woman who happens to be 40 years old and 10 eggs from a woman who happens to be 30 years old, those eggs may look identical under the microscope. Yet, we know that from many studies that have been done over the years, seven out of the 10 eggs in the younger woman have the potential, generally speaking, to become a baby, where maybe only three eggs out of 10 in the older woman. In many animal species, an abnormal egg just won't fertilize, but we as humans will fertilize just about any egg, normal or not. We do our screening at the miscarriage stage. So when I think about how egg efficiency relates as a woman gets older to her likelihood of miscarriage, I think about the fact that the eggs, which lose their efficiency over the years, can be fertilized, can implant, and then unfortunately frequently result in miscarriage. For many years we believed that a woman was born with all the eggs that she'll ever have and that the precursor cells to generating those eggs vanished before she was born. Recently some discoveries have led us to understand that a woman still has on the surface of her ovaries egg precursor cells that have the potential to become human eggs. If you have a very healthy egg genetically, but it doesn't have the energy to be able to fuel all the cell divisions from a single cell until it implants in a woman's uterus, that egg suffers a poor fate. Egg precursor cells hold a very good promise because they contain the special energy packets, mitochondria, that are pristine and can recharge the batteries, if you will, on a woman's own eggs. We have seen over the last 30 years of development in in vitro fertilization, amazing things happen, great pregnancy rates, and millions of babies born as a result. There's a real big blue sky here for the technologies that exist, but they still need further development and refinement. The good news is that there's lots of research underway that could potentially help many women. So it's always good to keep your eye in the news and continue to keep contact with medical professionals to know what's available at any given day.